performances, noise making at least the top eight, but they didn't make it past round one last time in the regionals. We do get ourselves underway. Huge amount on the line here, Johnny. Certainly, Oxygen are the team with more to prove at the regional level. Obviously, they've done well in the grid, the weekly 10K tournament um, that is a smaller part of this season of RLCS uh, than these regional events are. But uh, they have a point to prove. They still consider themselves to be in that, you know, top three, top four teams in EU um, kind of category. Something that I don't think Guild would say about themselves these days, given how much they've been struggling week to week. But they did have the top eight performance coming out of the last regional. Oxygen did not. Guild very much have been a team that have looked like they have been in development these last few weeks, especially coming in from boot camp. This is their first day back home and might very well go down by a goal here as Farah continues to put the pressure on. Astral takes over off the backboard. Can't quite find the shot he was after. For Oxygen, they feel like they are just so close to that one big result that really announces this roster move that they made. Mm. Haven't been quite able to get it yet. This regional will be one that they'll be trying to grab hold of it. Well, Guild shouldn't be a team that Oxygen um, are surprised by. They had a couple of upsets against them in the last regional where, you know, teams that you really wouldn't expect to beat them uh, were able to come out on top, and that left them with a horrendous scoreline going into the fifth series of the day with a, a massive amount of pressure on their shoulders. One of the top teams in the region barely, uh, you know, making it into the latter stages of round one. They're like, that, sh that shouldn't be happening, and they know that shouldn't be happening. But I guess Guild, they'll know what to expect. Guild, as a team, um, have, you know, struggled to uh, put the team plays together at times. And I think, uh, I don't know if you could give us any light on the situation as you've been casting all the grid matches for Guild, but they seem to over-rely on communication to me. They're waiting for calls a lot of the time instead of just making something happen. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the opposite of Magnifico in that way. It was, especially last week, but although we were told they were trying different, out, different styles last week, last week was probably the most disjointed we've seen them in terms of speed follow-up each, each other's touches. Um, but for the most part, it's just been a lack of real identity to them so far. A lot of it has sort of been waiting for a player to pop off and then just allowing that player to fully take over. Lucy Scrub trying to move forward. He's going to go for the double. He's unchallenged for it. And that is Ooh. a monster block from Chaucet. Off the backboard from Nolly. Follow up this from though. Wow. And Astro will keep it out. Huge defensive plays from Oxygen. And it's still nil nil. That's the kind of guild offense that we've been uh, seeing glimmers off throughout this season. We, we get to witness brilliance from these lads on occasion. But that was world class shot stopping from Chaucet and Astro. It'll be interesting to see what version of Guild is going to show up today. I've seen them try multiple styles, some of them more successful than others, but today's the day they've got to settle on something. Maybe one more regional after this. So this one is mighty important for them. Astral to the corner, still nil-nil. Not exactly the barn burner that we got during the previous series for game one, but maybe Scrub Killer can have a little bit of magic. Shall set times it perfectly well though, notice that. The young Scott was in a bit of a difficult position. Just allowed him to play it and then take the ball back over afterwards. You know, it might yet be a barn burner Shogun. I think that right now they're just getting the kindling in position. Somebody's <laughs> gone and grabbed the, the lighter fuel. They're loading it up. Um, but the ignition is yet to occur. We'll see if um, Guild decide to make this an interesting one later on. Or if Oxygen can get out of defense. They have been solid. But with very few opportunities to score anything into the guild net, that's a great first touch by Astral. Second one wasn't what he was looking for, trying to play that off the backboard to himself. And with how consistent he's been with his backboard setups recently, I'm surprised to see him miss one, even if it is that difficult. Oh, here's Astral infield pass shot. It's another huge save. Defensively, both teams so solid in game one. Like Guild should have certainly been at least one goal up after their two shots from the backboard, but Astral and Chaucet both able to keep them out. Now over the top, Astral does land. Good recovery, but Nolly is going to be there first. 30 seconds on the clock. In field. It's not much to run onto for Nolly, so he drops it down to Scrub yet again. Sure set, will clear. It's not a great touch from though. It's going to leave Nolly by himself. Scrub Killer still trying to get back. What's the second touch? Astral waits for it. This has been good patience so far. 
Neither team able to get the one crucial touch that leaves it all open for each other off the backboard, but Shostet should have that. It does make it a little bit more awkward. Oxygen will clear their lines. I think Guild will be very happy with what they've shown us so far. Um, they've been following up on each other's plays extremely quickly compared to what I'm used to seeing from them these days. They are they, There isn't like a visible lag between the one play and the next one. But can they keep that up going into the rest of the series? Oxygen won't be happy with anything but a win here. I think Guild, you know, based on what was their play that they've brought to the table so far, that's all they really want to do. Just play a solid series and see what happens against a team like Oxygen, who have been the better team overall, at least in terms of consistency this year. The question would really be at is, you know, what does happen to Oxygen if they do end up losing this series and go down to 1-1? Let's set the alarm bells off very much like it was last time. Oh, yeah. Remember in first regional, they were one up at the first end of the first round, but they ended up dropping into Magnifico in round number two. There and out. Life was very difficult for them. So this is so important for them just to try and get a hold of the result. One minute down here. Farah hasn't got any support. He chooses to go by himself. It's always going to be difficult to score from that. Yeah, it was a nice try by Farah, but the guild defense was in position. Oh, there's no defense here. Thor couldn't recover for the rebound. Suddenly, out of nowhere, there was a huge opportunity. It should have been the win for Guild. And now the ball bounces across with no contest. But both teams did not have a second man in support. The first one was just fantastic blocks from Oxygen. This one, however, Guild will feel like they should have had this game won at least twice now. Oh, yeah. Scrub dives on through. Good challenge. Keeping that pressure on. They've stole a bit of boost as well. Nolly's taken out a player. Something to work with here for Guild. It's a long-term advantage for them to try and work with. But it's another huge whiff from Astral. Wow. Chaussette covers so quickly. Yeah, it looked like everybody missed that uh, that read. They knew they had to go up as quickly as possible, but it cracks off the ceiling very quickly. Look at the read from Pharaoh off his own ceiling bounce. These are still like more difficult to predict than backboard reads just because they happen less often. The bounces aren't committed yet to long-term memory as effectively and as deeply as backboard reads. Same thing can be said for sidewalls and even uh, floor bounce at times when a double touch is involved. Gilder looking solid, Shogun. And mm. uh, even though they are the team who I, you know, say are the underdogs in this matchup, like you already mentioned, Oxygen need this win more based on the first regional event that we've seen coming out of Europe. Nolly has got Zo in the middle. Can't quite get it to him, but it's still a fantastic block. Looking for the midfield pass. Will Scrub want to commit? Not quite. There's a lot of possession so far for Guild. Very little in terms of actual goal scoring pressure. There's one issue that Guild have had where they do control the field so often, but I described it to my to my co-host on this broadcast, Ian Chambers, that, you know, it feels often like Guild force themselves to score an 8 out of 10 goal whilst they concede 4 or 5s. Mm. Might be the case again here. Huge demo, though. That is massive. Cannot have the follow-up shot. Well, you know, if they want to concede an 8, 9, or 10 out of 10 goal, they're against the right team to make that happen. With Azrael on the field, you really do expect to see brilliance with such consistency. Nothing wonderful just yet for Oxygen. Oh, that was a huge How is this not over? Though, just bouncing off the ball more than anything else. That was an open net from point blank range, but he panicked it. He just jumped at it oh. too quickly. My guild senses are tingling here, Johnny. I feel like I've seen this one. And unfortunately, this one has never ended well, well for guild. Your, is that your bottle senses? You're like, yep, somebody uh, is, somebody's bottle. That's my this. one skill on this one. It's my one thing that I do bring to these broadcasts. The bottle sense is tingling. It'll be up to them to try and make sure they maintain the maturity to not get overexcited. They know they've been close. They know they haven't quite got it yet. And they cannot afford for that to affect how they play the rest of this overtime. Four minutes of it played now. Oxygen hanging on for a couple of major plays. They won their own big one very soon. Oh, it's a whiff shot from Nolly. Long clear. So far, though, Auction have not had any options downfield to clear to. Yeah, I'm sure all the Scrub Killer fans watching will agree with you there. It's really good news for Guild if they don't get too excited, even though they've been so close to scoring. You can already you know, hear Scrub bouncing up and down in his chair and uh, yelling things like, come on and stay focused. Focus, focus, but uh, you know, it's all about putting that into action. Here is Scrub Killer, but that shot left a lot to be desired. 
as Scrub Killer and Guild still struggle to apply the finishing touch to these setups, which have been far better than what Oxygen have been able to produce. Chaucet takes it down. That is magnificent. He's got one and a half players out for himself, but he doesn't have a follow for the longest time from Oxygen. Oxygen do seem very stunted when it comes to these follow-up touches. Haven't been there just yet. Still stuck in the inside of the field. Fair according to action. Whoa. It is a good save, despite the fact that he was in such an awkward position. This is crazy. We've seen two games there. Magnifico would have ungold at least three times by this point, but the defenses continue to do enough. And that's all I'm going to give them credit for, because at times it's not really been up to the defense. They're just hoping more than anything else that the shots get missed, especially on Oxygen's side. Take over from Astral. That next player up is so far back. Chaucet's barely even crossed over the halfway line by the time the challenge was committed to by Astral. It just feels like Oxygen are banking on a massive mistake here. Not committing to anything else. Do you ever wonder in these long overtime, Shogun, if this is the one that just goes to some ridiculous length where now there has to be a rule I... change in Rocket League where we go to like a one hour overtime or something? <laughs> <laughs> the entire broadcast is completely thrown off. And then we have to just rewrite the rules thing. Okay, how do we introduce a penalty shootout into this game? Because we can't have this happen. What well, it's gonna happen one day, you know? They could mm. be this could be the day. We might be watching the longest series, the longest game that we've ever uh, witnessed in Rocket League history, but we just don't know it yet. I mean, we've got two of the six pl six players that were involved in an 18-minute overtime. Is oh. this going to be over the top? Oh. Off the crossbar and in! Oh. Though it's taken him nine shots, but he gets the one in. And Astral did not get a touch on that. That was just—it looked like a 50-50 at first, but Astral in fact flew straight past it. And though, as usual with a banger on target. He, for me, is the consistent striker in this team. And boy, did he step up at the end of this game. A mm. thriller for sure, but Oxygen were the back foot for the majority of it. They couldn't really escape um, defense for a lot of this game. Credit to Guild, um, given how inconsistent their year has been so far. Must have been difficult to hold on and just stay calm in these uh, situations. But at least they've got Scrub on their team to remind them to do that. That's his uh, one of his other catchphrases that I'm sure they're getting very used to hearing. And uh, you did bring up the point there that Tho is the consistent shooter on this team. But this game, he really wasn't that. A lot of yeah, the big opportunities true. were falling for him, especially the open nets. You know, he had two of them that he just couldn't convert. Um, if he can become that, and if they can actually start hitting the ball with some decent power and accuracy, that could have been a much more convincing game. It certainly should not have hit that long of an overtime. Yeah, this it, it's it's uh, you know impressive the guild can come out on top at the end of the game where opportunities have been squandered several times. Um, they they still just you know keep doing their thing. They just keep grinding away, um, trying to make the best of every situation that they get. But for Oxygen, this is extremely worrying. It's a, a worrying trend that seems to be happening in RLCS uh, X. And that trend is that when the pressure is on, they aren't able to perform. And we know where were the wondrous moments from Astral in this last game? Where were the, the you know, free shots that Farah usually gets every single game that they play? Where were the dribbles from Chassette? They didn't look entirely there offensively. No, it was a very reserved performance is what I'll give it because, you know, you could see them trying to build into each of those things that you just mentioned, but you can't do that if every single time you're trying to build that play is from your own final third and you're trying to claw the ball out of your own side of the field with no real follow-up. You know, Guild were very often just waiting for the ball to come to them. Cool, you couldn't 1v3 us, surprise, surprise. And we'll take the ball back over. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a very defensive setup from Oxygen to start off, start off game number two. Are they in the mentality uh, that they're playing not to lose at the moment? After such a disastrous regional one, it would be easy for them to fall into that trap. Just to go about these games, trying to make as few mistakes as possible. But in doing so, losing their flair, losing their offense. Oh, that was almost a great save. But Nolly picks up the second goal of the game. Game of the goal of the series, uh, I mean. And it's another defensive whiff on the backboard for Oxygen. They're trying the defensive posturing, but the mistakes are happening. Yeah, it feels like after the last game was won by Guild, you have to snap out of that play style because 
you know, you get a win off it, Guild will start to crumble. We've seen that a number of times, but they didn't. They gave the win to Guild. Guild will get lots of confidence from that. And they've started to play with that little bit more confidence, whilst Oxygen have just maintained the same style. It is not working for them whatsoever. And when I have been talking on these pre-shows about, you know, put these matchups together, and often, you know, I would always say in the grids, Oxygen will defeat Guild. But you put a different tournament and a different sort of format and a different amount of pressure on them, and you see what performance you get. So far, Oxygen have not answered that question all that well. And I don't imagine it would be a conscious decision for Oxygen to come into um, the biggest event or, you know, the, the biggest tournament that they've got on their calendar for this month and say, okay, let's just change up our play style. Let's play a bit more defensively. Astral, stop trying to 1v3 everybody. Shall set. None of that dribbling nonsense that you've been um, out playing everybody with for the past year. And Farah, nah, shooting lanes, stay well away from those. I, I, I can only imagine that this is just the pressure of this situation getting to them again and they're not able to bring out their best performance. Um, either that or they are just completely surprised that Guild are playing as consistently and as solidly as they are because much like Magnifico, they're kind of like Magnifico light in that way. They, they do throw away the occasional goal and uh, opportunity to score. So far, despite being the team that are down, Mag Oh, I almost called them Mag <laughs> There you go, Johnny. You managed to infect me on that one. But it is uh, Guild continuing the offensive pressure for the most part. Farah does go up, but he is by far second best of the race on the ball. So minutes on the clock here. Oxygen facing down, going 0-2 against a team that they just beat comfortably in last week's grid. Astral drops it. Nobody around though to help. Scrub killer. But I wanted to get rid of it very quickly, but there wasn't much pressure on him. Still, this is good positioning right now for Oxygen. They need Whoa. someone to move in. That is a massive miss. And Guild will get away. Yeah, it looked like Astro was trying to read those touch on that ball. Get a block on him. Oh, shots. That's made a shot go through. Astro with a follow up. Wow. Pre jumping. Nolly gets back down for it. That's a great reaction. Finally, Oxygen makes something happen in offense, but it's just as unsuccessful as the past. And now almost 15 minutes of gameplay have been. They've yet to put a goal in, in an incredible length of time. And usually, they just can't stop scoring in matchups like this. And the big problem for me right now, Johnny, is that that was the big opportunity. Guild were whiffing everything in the midfield. They were handing them possession. They were handing them the ball. And now you expect Guild to start shoring that up pretty quickly. It was the one lapse in confidence, the drop. Can't quite do it. Not turned in. 40 seconds on the clock. Oxygen will start getting desperate now. They've got to be. And at the moment, their version of desperate might just be their regular aggression amounts. Flip resets. Secured. Astral oh! tries to pick it out. It's got to be going in here. No! Keeps it away. Game winner in the last game. Manages to be game saver this time around, and Oxygen still down by one. Just when you thought the script was written and Astral is going to pull out another Wonder Goal to bring Oxygen back from the brink, he's missed it. And that might be their last missed opportunity that they're going to get. Chaucet trying to make one happen. Ferret and Astral are both following up an attack. They know they have to. They're down one goal with no time left in the clock. Here's Astral, but into the ground it goes. Gil, 2-0. Didn't need overtime in this one. This is... Shocking. Absolutely shocking for Oxygen. A real surprise to the system once again. What is going wrong? They're on the back foot for most of the game, first game. They lose. They're in an offense for most of the game too. They lose. They just can't put two and two together in the RLCSX regionals. Somebody get them a calculator because the, the arithmetic's just gone out the window. Um, Guild look good though. This is a really solid performance though. I feel like we're getting the same kind of storyline as we got in Magnifico versus Barcelona, but like I said before, not as extreme. It's hard yeah. to appreciate how well Guild are playing compared to what we're used to seeing from them because Oxygen looks so tame compared to how they usually look. But, you know, credit to Guild, they're getting the job done. Yeah, and I, I came into this one, you know, talking about how Guild had tried multiple different playstyles during their boot camp. I haven't really seen much of a defined playstyle here. This is just solid Rocket League that they're playing, and that's all they've really had to do so far. They've taken the opportunities that have been given, especially a lot better in that one, because, you know, despite um, though requiring nine shots in the first game to try and take them the win, across the entire team, they only had two in game number two, and they did manage to make it stick to give them the 2-0 advantage in this series. So Oxygen, what is the answer here? Can they figure it out? 
We're gonna need some big voices in there. I think this is Ferris' time to shine, really, because this team needs a wake-up call. Yeah, this uh, is time for Oxygen to just throw caution to the wind because clearly the defensive posturing is not working. They're not getting enough opportunities to score. They're not giving Azrael the springboard that he needs to, you know, get into the air and show off what he can do. Um, and, you know, the, as a team, their offense has been just so exciting to watch recently. Uh, we're not getting to see any of that because they are playing too scared. They're playing not to lose. And against a team like Guild, that's not the best now, way to play the game. You need to bring it to them as fast as possible. Try and exploit their um, weaker communication, I would say, and weaker decision-making on the fly. Now, one thing that does make me quite excited is in the opening 30 seconds, I've already seen Astral cut rotation. That yes. actually is something quite exciting for me because it's what they're going to need right now. Here's going to be Nolly for the shot. Oh, oh, oh. Somehow, doesn't make its way in, and I have absolutely no idea how. Yeah, Farah just made himself big enough. He was lunging off the goal line there in the way of the ball. Just trying to get um, as much coverage as he could. It looked like he did do a really good job of, uh, you know, just getting in the way of all the shooting angles. The accuracy from Guild has been lacking from the tight angles, but when they're shooting straight on at the goal like that, they have had pretty good um, consistency, just making a hard shot on target, testing the Oxygen goalies. Oh, there's a double commit. Scrub Killer though recovers quick enough to make sure it's not an issue. And again, we're seeing long balls being played, but the often question is, is that who to? Who's supposed to be following this play for Oxygen? Though we'll follow up a one touch. Astral takes the ball up high. Josh, that's really far back, so it's going to be on Ferret to come up and give him support. And we already see he's back on the goal line. They are very much relying on a 1v3. Like maybe they're just too used to it happening. Here's Nolly. That'll test Astral. It's an awkward shot, but luckily for him, Scrub Killer had turned the other way. Here's the follow up now from Scrub. He overhits the first touch, invites Vera in for the 50 50. Something that Oxygen will gladly take at this point. They don't want to give any free shots to Guild from their own half. So Guild have definitely got the power. For Guild, this would be the best performance and the best win on their resume with this team. A couple of nice ones in there, but to take on a team that many would argue right now is fourth or third in the region. Obviously, that becomes mm. its own chaotic mess whenever you try and rank European top five. Slow does move on in. Chosset does not take the bait. He did not believe, though, had it, as that's a dangerous touch. Scrub Killer, brave enough to take it on board. Guild holding on here. Two minutes left. 18 minutes, Johnny, without an oxygen goal. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy statistic right there. Um, not only have they got Azrael on the roster, one of the scariest individual players in the world in offense. Uh, but when Azrael joined this roster, Chosset and Farah just started to score more often. And Farah is a prolific goal scorer for his entire, has been a pro prolific goal scorer for his entire Rocket League career. Chosset just maybe, I'd say about a year ago was considered by most to be the best player in the world because of his ability to score all by himself. Just take the ball and put it in the other team's net. But they've not been able to do it for this entire series. And although Guild have defended well, that's only been half of the story. Oxygen looks timid. They look scared. They're holding back. And Guild are just waiting for that golden ticket to 3-0 them and go 2-0 in the day. Vera, pack the ball up. So we'll take it over the top of the ball. Take it over the top of the net, I should say. And as always, no follow-up from Oxygen. This is going to be their best chance. Astral looks to move up with Ferra. Astral has got a shot on target. Scrub Killer avoiding the demo attempt. Yeah, that was a big play by Scrub. Ferra chased him into the goal. Scrub just uh, stays well away from that demo and recovered quick enough to easily dispose of the triangle shot. That's a solid defense coming in again from Guild. Things that have gone unnoticed because all eyes are on Oxygen's lackluster offense. The Gilda made this hard for them, and they continue to do, to do so. Big demo. Nolly the only one back. Scrub Killer just hounds away at Shostet. Didn't want him to have any of that one. A little bit more bite so far in terms of what Oxygen are doing downfield, but not too much extra. It's mostly just been harassing the goalkeeper, maybe trying to get a hit. Ten seconds on the clock. One goal for Guild, and it would be a 3-0 against Oxygen. And they would do it in a perfect sweep as Chosset looks to go up. 
Nolly. He's going to follow it. This might be a huge opportunity off the backboard. And oh. Thurl will get there just in time. So a goal for Guild makes it not only a perfect sweep, but a 1-0, 1-0, 1-0 affair. A goal for Oxygen means that we head over to game four. Didn't realize it was your birthday, Shogun. It could very well be. I'm not saying bias. Um, but, you know, I would like to see that result. That is Shogun's favorite result, the triple 1-0. I, I also agree, it is a fun one to see happen, but Oxygen would hate to see it. Oxygen fans would hate to see it. Unfortunately, another couple of uh, shots have gone in to the goal line area and bounced away from danger. Oxygen yet to score, and now we're approaching 21 minutes of gameplay. That is something it's I don't ridiculous. think has ever happened to any of these players, never mind all three of them on a team together. Well, if you asked me where I was going to get that result that I've been looking for for so long, it would not have been with Oxygen's name next to it. Not in a million years. Definitely not with Guild doing it, given the year they've had. But that's what's been happening so far. Oh, this oh, 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 that's the oh they've done it. Just that breaks the deadlock. Scrub Killer could not make contact. He pre-jumps Astral's touch, expecting more than what he got. And Chosette was first on the scene. Finally, Oxygen score. It took 21 minutes. But they have done it. Mm, they've broken the deadlock. They've broken my heart. And maybe off that one, they can break through to a potential reverse sweep. Johnny, if they do reverse sweep this one, would this be a weirder result? I mean, so far, I actually would consider this to be a weirder game than the one we just had. And oh, I didn't definitely. know that was possible. No, the, the, the first uh, series that we saw today, Barca Magnifico, it was weird. Um, you know, if you took away the nameplates of the players and looked at the games, you'd say, what on earth is going on here? This is some bizarre Rocket League. But when you see, oh yeah, it's Magnifico playing, of course, that makes perfect sense. You know, that, that's what we expect from them. But what we've seen here between Oxen and Guild is the opposite of what we expect from Oxygen and the opposite of what we expect from Guild on any given day. Unfortunately for Oxygen, this it has been their continued struggle in RLCSX regionals. The ability to perform up to their usual level is just not there. Um, and to see Guild performing this consistently to prevent Oxygen from scoring for that long, that length of time, that's impressive. Oh, oh nice wow. shot by Nolly. Chaussette was there or thereabouts, but on the wrong side of the ball. Brilliant pass by Phil also just catching Nolly in stride. Yeah, you're not going to hit it much cleaner than that. Nolly, as it drops straight onto his hood, levers it at the net, and that is a one goal advantage. We didn't have to wait 10 plus minutes for this one. On the other hand, if Auction are going to do this, they've got to do something that they haven't done so far this series, and that is score two. Yeah, they. I, I still think they will not be at all happy um, with how they played that third game. They got the win, but. It's not a win that they're going to be proud of. And this isn't a game they're going to be proud of either by the looks of things. Nolly puts in yet another goal. And where was the challenge? Scrub Killer with two touches uncontested. Farah way too late to the play. And Shostet, I think he took a bit of collateral damage after he jumped up for this one. Nolly landed on him by the looks of things. 420 remaining. So a long time for Oxygen to make something happen. Based on what we've seen from them today. Very unlikely to see a two-goal comeback. Oh, unless we start going to full-on football times of 90 minutes. Their uh, averages don't look quite good enough for it, but that is okay. phenomenal. Farah plays it right underneath. And it is off good pressure. I think this is one of the first times, actually, we've seen Oxygen commit two players to the offense. Yeah, it, it looked, uh, you know, somewhat like a whiff defensively, but there was um, a, a, an offensive player for Oxygen running ahead of Farah, causing interference and forcing the defender to jump as early as possible. So opening the net. Far Farah to score from now. Here comes Astral. Wave dash shot off the flip reset. Even though that doesn't work, that's more what you want to see from Oxygen. Oh, and there's what Guild have been trying to avoid all day. Wicked double commit as two players come clattering into the backcourt. Is this the turning point? It might be. Astral with the equalizer. We well, talked earlier on about Guild getting a little excited. Definitely so for that double commit. And they get punished for it. Phenomenal transition play from Oxygen. And... You know, this game suddenly has a different feeling to it, Johnny. Oxygen taking their opportunities. We're actually seeing more than one player over in the orange side of the field. 
We've got to maintain this, though. There's a long road to go. Dropping over to Astral. Puts that one high. That's going to be a fit. follow for the longest time. And Shostek gave, though, enough time just to recover. Yeah, it does feel different already. You know, Guild have played so flawlessly. Well, they haven't taken all their opportunities, but they've rotated almost flawlessly this series. And for that double commit to occur, the rotation has to be wrong. You don't get a position developing naturally these days in, Ro in Rocket League where two players can fly for that length of time at the same backboard rebound without something going wrong. Oh, and yeah. It looks like things have started to go wrong for Guild. Another demo comes in in the back post for Oxygen, and there's nobody back. Guild have Join lost my their Guild lead. senses. They're coming back. Then the ball senses must be more than tingling right now. As suddenly, I mean, Guild have conceded more in a minute than they did in the previous like twenty half an hour of gameplay. Yeah. One of the weirdest opening days we have had so far in any level of Rocket League. You got to highlight the physical play of Oxygen though. Two of these goals have had big bumps involved, and uh, well, one bump and one demo playing a huge part. And you don't get those opportunities if you're holding back with all three of your players like they were earlier on in the series. Like I mentioned, they've kind of just thrown caution to the wind here. They think, well, we're down by two goals. We're on a. We're, we just saved one match point. We need to save another two. Let's just get aggressive. Let's get into the orange half and start messing with the guild rotation. Best way to mess with the rotation is to um, throw a demo into the mix. And right now, like, should this result start going away from guild, I would fail to turn around and say, oh, guild just started playing bad. It just feels like, to me, it feels like the time was there. And now they've given auction just that little bit too much. Auction seem to have woken up here. Actually playing more of the Rocket League that we expect to see from them. Shostet does have Pharah moving up in support. Juice does choose to back down. But it's still just a one goal game and Guild can turn this one around. Just got to get hold of the ball first and that has been very difficult to do so far. Yeah, look how close Oxygen are to the plays now. These follow-ups are starting off from the halfway line, not deep in their own half. Now, so there's a big difference in just the positioning that Oxygen have decided to go for, even now that they're winning. They're staying um, as active as possible in the plays. They're not running all the way back to their goal line, not all the way back to their own back corner. If we're turning and getting involved in the offensive rotation again, no, they're just moving things up a little bit. But this is their more normal um, way to play. So I'm not surprised to see it working out well for them. Oh, there you there go. We go. That's what you want to see if you're an Oxygen fan. Just a quick half rotation from Shostet. Doesn't even think about going back. Farah as well, both and, of them. Uh, yeah, Gil just didn't expect it. Farah knew it though. Yeah, that's, that's two, what you want. Two half rotations in a row, like you said. Shostet um, making one play on the ball, then Farah goes in for it. Shostet turns again, and then Farah turns again. We wouldn't have seen this in game one, uh, one or two from Oxygen. As soon as they make any kind of play like that, they would have been out of the half. They would have been back into their own end. Um, but this is the way that they have been playing when they're winning. So I would, good to see them, at least if they are going to lose the series, they're going out uh, doing what they do best. I would definitely say that that goal, more than any of the three that came before it, was the biggest shout that this is Oxygen starting to step up to the plate. Yeah. Because, well, like you mentioned, we got none of that previously. We, you know, they would have half rotated, but half rotated back to their own backboard to try and save the next shot from the last few games. Indeed. Much different. They have four goals after... We, well, we, we essentially saw four games because the first game had, of course, the five minute overtime. So we saw one goal in those four games, if you can call it that, to start off the series. Now we've seen four goals in one game. So, you know, credit to Oxygen. They've really stepped it up here. And it kind of looked like they just needed to be backed up into a corner completely. They were, yeah, they were losing the series, but it was, it were, the games were close. It was two one nil games to start off this series. A super long overtime in the first one. Um, they, it looked like they just needed to have uh, more of a shock to their system before they would fully wake up. And now they realize, oh wait, we're losing by two goals here. Something needs to change. Let's just, let's finally just put our heads down and go for it. Just make some aggressive plays. And when, as soon as they did that, then Guild don't look anywhere near as consistent. Certainly not, and guilds have been playing incredibly slow this entire time. It was just the one double commit seemed to just open up the floodgates, allowed Oxygen all that confidence to start throwing everybody forward. 
of Roxgen. This is the big one. And imagine turning around to somebody after watching those first two games and saying, we're uh, going to game five. <laughs> and we're going to game five with Oxygen having all the momentum. That is, we have a crazy game here. It's Rocket League is good fun. Yeah, this is this is nothing like what we expected from this matchup um, in terms of how the matchup was played start to finish. But the result kind of makes sense. Going to game five, Guild versus Oxygen. I'm not surprised by that. Um, and, and now Oxygen, like you said, look like they might be winning. That They might uh, be the favorites to win this, which is also not a surprise going into this series. So eventually, when we've uh, you know gone full circle, we're back to where we're supposed to be. But we went a, a weird journey through games one, two, uh, and three. And look at that, Nolly with a beautiful double to kick off game number five. Can Guild step it up again? And they avoid the, the downward spiral that commenced after that double commit in the last game. Find out soon enough, but could not have asked for a better start. Nolly hasn't really typically been part of the rotation that has created the most goals for Guild. It is typically the and Scrub Killer, but I will say when he is playing at his best, those have been the best performances I have seen from Guild. So if he can start stepping up here, that'll be massive for them. On the other side, there's the player that was on your screen just a moment ago. I suppose this one as well. Not really half bad himself. Shosset and Astral, always a threat. Here comes Astral. Ooh. That was just way too far ahead of him and he couldn't quite reach it. Yeah, he went, uh, he went for it though. And that's promising for Oxygen. They are going for their chances again. Not holding back. But will they be able to replicate what they did in the last game? Guild led by two, and Oxygen came back with four goals in a row. Now they only need one. Oh, Ooh, dear. dear me. Yeah, that's the bad. <laughs> you know, we actually saw a, a goal very similar to that in the matchup these two teams played against each other in the grid this week. It was a scrub killer backflip on goal from the halfway line, where he just flicks it on his own net by mistake. Um, so, yeah, really bad news to see those uh, things happening for Guild. Luckily, this time, Thor was able to catch up to it. I don't think Nolly's Hit it completely on target as well. Still though, Guild looks shaky. Mm. And I'd say shaky at best right now. Amazingly, Johnny, that was not the best on goal I saw this weekend. I don't know if you quite caught the chalked one, but that I was did. a, oh, a thing goodness. of beauty. Uh, so we do see a shot coming in easily covered by Shostet, but Nolly keeping the pressure on and though will not fully commit to it. Awkward angle shot, Shostet clears. Yeah, it's a big hit by Shostet, generating a ton of power with very little run up on the ball. But Gildar playing with an extremely defensive lineup. That's a fake challenge from Thoas, the second man back, which really made it difficult for the goalie behind him to know what's going to happen. Luckily, he was able to succeed on this actual real challenge that he followed up with. But you don't want to see too much of that from Guild. That kind of hesitation is what will get them in trouble. There's a long time left in this game. Plenty time for Guild to bottle it. I believe that's the storyline you'd be pushing on the Guild grid broadcast. Oh yeah, I'm sure they'll be so happy with me on that one. Oh dear, Astro. We're a very greasy Meister flip reset. Farah over to the wall. Has he got any options midfield? Auction have done a much better job so far of just fully sending it. Astral moves in. Scrub killer, always so good from those challenges. Auction taking a much more offensive stance here. They might get caught for it. They oh! Have. Nolly bangs it top corner. You know, I credited so earlier on for being the usual suspect for Guild. Just smashing in shots from the halfway line kind of area. But Nolly in this series has been monumental for them as he drills in another shot from deep. And now, not just a two goal lead, but a two goal lead late in the game. This is a huge chance for Guild. Real big question now is can they survive the offensive onslaught that should be coming their way? Auction were willing to just go all out earlier on, then there's no reason why they won't do it right here. Astral hasn't got any options though. She tries to keep the pressure going, refuel the rest of his team with some boost. I am noticing Scrub Killer, especially off the ball, is doing a lot more movement than just heading back for his own side, but Farah double demo ends up meaning very little because the shot coming forward was pretty simple for the goal line. Scrub going out of his way right now. He is stealing every boost he possibly can. It looks like Oxygen have been failing to provide options for one another when the um, when a player is making a setup off the sidewall or 
just trying to counter attack out, out of defense with a dribble. There's just nobody making options for the meanwhile, Nolly cannot stop scoring. What a time to bring out an MVP performance. And that was the shot. That was the finishing touch because he's managed to land on Chaussette after popping it into the half. 3-0, Oxygen are on the ropes. In fact, I think they're halfway hanging out of the ring, about to fall off. They'll just need to prod them at this point and they'll have the series win. Holly, we'll be waiting for it from Tho. 60 seconds now. This would be the biggest win of this new guild team. And they are so close to getting towards it. Scrub killer, good challenge. Takes it away from another player. There is a demo on their back line. Here's Nolly taken out. They need a massive oh, play. They've got wow. it. Astral pulls it back by one. That is a cheeky pass from Farah. Not every pass needs to be a laser center ball. Look at that. Just perfectly hit. Chipping it up for Astral. Life still for Oxygen. They've plugged in the respirator. Let's see if they can come back. They need two goals in 50 seconds. Astral can't get there before Nolly, but he does remove Nolly. Best opportunities so far have come actually when Nolly's been off the field. Astral can't get it past though. Big opportunity. Three goal lead is back. Nolly has got four. They wanted a big performance. They needed an option to drag them back into it. Nolly has been exactly that. Yeah, Nolly more known for his fancy plays, the elaborate goals. He just got it done, no nonsense this game. Just put in the shots on target. Asking Oxygen, are you gonna save these? No, okay, well, I guess in that case, we'll be taking the win. Thank you very much. As this would put Gale 2-0 on the day and it would sentence Oxygen to the 1-1 draw. Uh, not somewhere that they'll wanna be given the record in the first regional, but that reality is becoming more and more of an inevitability as the seconds tick away. Gilda have done it. This was, this was a bizarre series if you look at it as a whole, but overall, outside of a couple of instances, Gilda put up one of their best performances of the, of the year and they've thoroughly deserved this win. Realistically for Gilda, there is only one double commit that you can really point towards as a You've gone completely wrong here to concede. And a couple of other hiccups. Yeah, well, but overall, their most, you know, considering they played almost seven games, really. Yeah. Can definitely get away with those two mistakes. They've done it. Guild move on 2-0. and oh, And it is going to be Oxygen dragged back into the 1-1. One one. Both teams replicating their regional number one performances so far. And if you're Oxygen, that sounds very scary indeed. Oh, what well, brilliant showing by Nolly. Right place, right time, took his chances. Um, and just put this game beyond all doubt for, for his team. Made, it made it a bit easier than the first two games of the series where, mm -hmm. where they were just on a tie or winning by one um, and trying to keep it that way. This was a bit more what Guild would like to replicate uh, as, you know, sitting on a two goal cushion like this and then seeing Nolly score more goals to add to that. That makes this game a lot easier to play. They're, they're, they're not relying on perfect uh, defense for the remainder if they could just add a few more to the Italian. Massive plays coming out of Nolly. He's showing us once again why he is one to watch, not just for the future, but right now. Yeah, for Oxygen, they'll be wondering, well, why didn't we just play like this since the very beginning? Because you give them a full five game series, looking at how they did in game three and four, this is a very look, different looking result at the end of the day, but that is something that they need to figure themselves out for because when we come back, it is time for stage number three. We're going to be sending some teams home and we're also going to be sending some teams through to next week.